We have a live look this morning at Jacksonville International Airport where starting today you can fly nonstop to Los Angeles. The news comes as more Americans are getting the itch to travel again. News for Jax reporter Brittany Muller joins us live from JAX. So Brittany, how long is that flight going to be? Bruce Mel, good morning. In five hours and 52 minutes, you could be in sunny California. The first direct non-service flight takes off tonight at 5 p.m. And it's pretty exciting considering there hasn't been a direct flight like this in 12 years. A new direct route to get to the West Coast, which hasn't been offered in more than a decade. It started right during the economic crisis of 2008, so naturally it went away. So we've been hammering on this with different airlines for 12 years. Mark Van Lowe is Jacksonville Aviation Authority's CEO. He says JetBlue's nonstop flight from JAX to LAX will dramatically help our tourism. Over 200 people a day were flying to Southern California from Jacksonville before the pandemic. But flyers like Pooja Solanke had to connect through Dallas, Houston and Charlotte or drive south to catch a direct flight. How often do you travel back and forth? Before the pandemic, I was going pretty much every other month. I actually went in February and I just recently came back. Solanke is thrilled with the flight with direct access to see her brother who lives in LA. This is gonna save time and, and you know, it's just so convenient. Van Lowe says more Californians are coming to Florida right now. JAX data from 2019 shows LA area airports falls at the top of the list without nonstop service. There were 271 passengers daily each way, making it Jacksonville's largest unserved domestic market. On the other hand, Jacksonville was LA's number one nonstop market prior to the pandemic. Now it's number three. Van Lowe hoping with the rollout of the vaccine becoming more widely available, more people will want to return to the skies. And this is JetBlue's first daily nonstop service from JAX since a flight to Newark was added last July. It also added a twice weekly nonstop to Raleigh, Durham earlier this month. And right now, JAX is operating at 50%. But officials say with the hope of the states reopening and pe more people getting vaccinated, that the uh, tourism, that the um, the travel industry will make a huge comeback. Reporting live this morning, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.